YouTube, what's good? Benny Mac is here with the vibrations coming here to serve you, man. How is your day going, man? I hope your day is abundant. I hope you're blessed. Let's get right into the video. Go ahead and hit the like button because I'm about to give you guys some free game. All right. Now, when it comes to dreadlocks, uh, I had somebody ask me, yo, what should they expect to pay when it comes to the dreadlocks? And um, it's a very good question because I actually, I don't think there are any videos out there that um, tell people or tell fellas what to expect when it comes to getting their locks done. Because in the end of the day, it's not in our hands. It's in somebody else's hands. And um, throughout my dreadlock journey, um, the price has fluctuated depending on the person and the time I am in my life and the length of what my hair lock, what my hair, my sorry, hair locks, but what my hair, it depends. Um, so uh, I'm going to get into that right now, all right? Now, when it comes to prices, there are really um, three variables that uh, comes to mind when I think of um, how much it'll cost to get my locks done. Um, first off, is, is definitely uh, the length, you know, the length of my hair. I've seen scenarios when people charge, you know, a little bit more extra when it comes to hair length because, you know, it's more time at the end of the day, all right? Uh, another variable that I've seen was uh, pretty much the person. You know, this person, you know, wanted to charge top-notch dollar because, you know, they're valuable, okay? They see that and, you know, like, oh, like, I'm I'm worth, I'm worth all this money. I mean, I'm worth all this money because I have all this skill. And that's easy to um, understand as well. And then um, another scenario that I seen was um, pretty much um, studio, you know? So let, let, me, um, let me actually get into this uh, deeper than that, all right? So... One of the first levels that you can expect when it comes to getting your hair done is uh, getting it done for free, all right? Now, I'm going to make a video on exactly how to get your uh, gel locks done for free, but as for now, um, for free could mean uh, getting somebody who is um, new to getting your, uh, new to doing gel locks and they just want to learn. So they're just using you to so they can develop a skill. And um, that works out because, you know, it's like a win-win scenario, you know? She gets to work. She gets to actually practice on a real head. And then um, you get your locks done for free. And then um, the good thing about it, like, if she fucks up, man, it's, it's for free, you know. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're not paying for anything. Or another scenario could be where um, you're getting your girlfriend or a nice uh, close friend and uh, she's helping you out and you just get your hair done for free. You get a friend who does it. She doesn't mind, you know, she doesn't mind, you know, spending time with you. And, you know, she just does your locks for free. And you guys have a nice little conversation. That's just whatever bond you guys got going off, all right? Uh, the other scenario is getting your girl to do it or, you know, one of your hoes to do it. You know, whatever. I, I don't, I'm not here to judge what you got. But, uh, you know, if you were a girl or something, you know, you, you can be like, hey, shorty, like, you know, let's, can you do my hair? You know, because I, you know, I don't know what the situation is. You know, you could be low on funds or you just want to spend more quality time with your girl. I don't give a damn. She could be doing your hair for free. All right. So, and that's one of the benefits of dating somebody who can do hair, man. Like, you get your locks done for free. And of course, of course, you're going to have to pay it off in the end. I don't know. Like, you know, you got to give that good, you know, give the good, dick, dick. you know, get up in her guts. But, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, <laughs> it's a fair exchange, baby. You know, if we're in a relationship or if I'm talking with a girl, like you give me what you want. I mean, you give me what I want. I give you what you want. And then a day. So, you know, but it's subjective, though. I'm not going to give these bitches everything. Um, so, yes, that's that's. Basically, um, the first thing you can expect um, if you want to get it done for free, all right? The next thing you can expect is um, getting it done for um, entrepreneurs, um, girls who work for themselves. Let's just say that, all right? Now, these girls, they usually have, you know, uh, they usually do their hair probably in their house, in their mom's house or in their room. Or they, have, they probably have a nice little setup studio in their basement or whatever it is, whatever the case is. They are their own entrepreneurs. They work for themselves. So with that being said, you know, their prices are, aren't typically high. They're not high because they're working for themselves. So, of course, they're trying to build up their clientele. So if you're, you know, dealing with somebody who's just beginning their business, she's trying to build up her clientele. So her prices are going to be cheap. Now, I'm sure throughout time they're going to be more expensive, but they're going to still be a lot cheaper than the next uh, than the next level, all right? The next level is studio, okay? But let's 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 just stay right here. Now, with these type of women, um, from my experience, like I said, I'm only going based off um, my experience. From my experience, uh, I've been charged from women like these that do it on their own. 
uh, it ranged from like 50 to maybe $90, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. So fellas, if you can find your girl, a girl who does dreadlocks on her own, in her house, in her room, in her basement, whatever, yo, stick to those, man. Because one, and then the day, yo, I always support black business. And majority of the women who do my hair are black women. But on top of that, too, I have nothing but the utmost respect for women who do it on their own, all right? They don't need a studio. They don't need a boss. They are their own boss. They make their own schedule. And I respect that to the T, man. So granted, even though the prices are low, I still make sure I tip them no matter what, all right? Even if you get it done from the woman from free, like, you know, the woman who do your hair for free, which, you know, are your friends or girls who are just trying to um, learn how to do dreadlocks, they don't expect anything. They just expecting you to show up and so they can work on your hair. They're experimenting on you. So you're basically their little pet, you know? So, but that's the fair exchange. Now, for the woman who are actually doing it in their own house, in their own time, making their own calls, like, yo, they deserve a tip because they're trying to build their business. And, and, and I would love, it's, it's, it's a great feeling for me to be like, oh man, like I was a part of her success. Well, not a part of her success because she done everything that she done on her own, but I was a part of her journey. Let me just say that. I'm not a part of her success. I'm a part of her journey, you know? Um, you know, she started with me and, um, you know, now she blossomed out and now she's just big top shot. And, and I love that. I love that story. And I love to be, oh man, like, you know, she used to do my hair back in the day and look at her now. Like, she's amazing. I love that. I really do. So that's what you can expect. So I say you can expect, um, you know, like a good 50 to about 80, 90 dollars. Now, studio, whole different scenario. That's the third level. That's the third thing you can expect. Now, if you get your um, locks done in a studio, it's a totally different scenario, all right? Nine times out of the ten, women who have a studio takes this very seriously. Like, this is her bread and butter, you know? This is her main job, you know? Which is great, which is fine. Like I said, you can make a lot of money with this. But it comes with a cost, all right? It comes with a cost because she's paying booth, all right? If she's working in a salon with this other woman, she's paying for that booth. If you guys didn't know, like, yo... Barbers and lacticians and hairstylists, you know, they're, they're, if they're doing hair into, you know, a studio, they have to pay that booth rent. So whatever that booth rent that can be, it could be like three, four, five hundred dollars. It is what it is. They have to pay that. And then everything, all, everything, you know, the rest of the money that they have is there. So with that being said, you know, they're going to bump up the prices naturally. You know, now me per se, I never got my hair done in a studio. You know, all the women who've done my hair before, it's just it's always been like, you know, in their house. Granted, uh, I don't mind getting my hair done in the studio, but I'm like, you know, for the work itself, I'm like, if you're giving me the same work that somebody who, you know, doesn't have a studio is given, like, why should I go to you in the end of the day? But, you know, like I said, it is what it is. You like what you like. So, but, um, from what I've seen personally, like, you know, anytime I do want to, you know, like, step into a studio or someone who's very highly valued in the sense of, like, they, they own a studio or they have been renting out a studio, like, yo, their prices are tough. You know, I haven't seen anything less than $100. I've seen um, women who charge 100 to, like, 200 depending on the size, depending on, you know, the hairstyle. So, first, you know, some people, they'll charge just to get your locks retwisted, and then they charge for style. And then they may charge for um, washing your locks, too. Like, you know, sometimes, you know, I've seen scenarios where the washing is included, and that's great, you know, if you can find that deal. But, you know, like, at the end of the day, man, like, yo, like, so if, if you're going to be paying that much money, you know, you got to expect that your hair is going to be fine quality. Fine, 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 fine quality. And uh, you get for what you pay for. And, and like I said, you know, it's, and when it comes to hair, it's not always, you know, you get what you pay for. It's, just, it's all about the experience. It's all about the experience because the girl who used to do my hair before did a phenomenal job, a phenomenal job, you know. And uh, I see women, and, you know, like who can't even like style or retwist like her who charging twice, three times the price that she charged. And I'm like, man, man, like it's not worth it. And that's why I used to always stick to her. And that's why like, I, that's majority of the time I stick to women, the, the entrepreneurs. I said the woman who could do that on their own, they're making money for themselves because, you know, they're not, they're not the middleman. You know, the, them being the middleman is, you know, like on one side, I pay them, they're the middleman, then they got to pay their boss and then they get the rest of them out. Like, no, I'd rather go straight to the buyer, <laughs> say to the dealer, that is. If you're going to do my hair, do my hair. And I'm, I'd rather pay straight, straight to you. Build your business up. Build up whatever you need to build. That's what i rather prefer. But like I said, I'm not knocking studios at all. I'm just telling you guys, though, expect to pay top 
not money. And that, and that's what you're about. Like, you got the money like that. Yo, like, do your thing. Like, I'm not telling you how to spend your money. I'm just telling you how to ex what to expect when it comes to getting your locks done. So, where I got, so to repeat myself, fellas, one, you can get it from free. You can get it for free from the family member, a friend, or a girl you're talking to, and they don't mind spending their time with you and to do your hair. That's one way you can expect. Two, you can expect uh, to pay a good about like fifty to like ninety dollars from women who do it on their own. You know, and like I said, like I said, I mean, of course, prices varies, but you know, from my experience, I never, I never paid that much. Maybe because I was friends with them, or um, maybe because they were starting out the business. You know, there's different scenarios and variables. So you just have to, you know, get the right one. And then three, you're gonna be spending top-notch money that ranges from like one, two, three hundred dollars, depending on your length and depending on the person, depending on the studio. So those are the three levels you can expect to when it comes to getting your locks done, folks. So if you got any more questions, let me know in the comment box down below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, folks, you guys stay abundant. I'm Minnie Matthews, and I'm out.